morning everyone. This is a Friday, a glorious Friday. Look at that blue sky and sunshine, not a cloud in sky in sight. Um it's lovely and chilly and fresh. We've got uh Dave's GS 300 coming in today for stuff. He's the guy with the Jetta who tried doing the 6x9s last time by himself. Do you remember that one? He cut the shelf up, nearly collapsed the back of the car. <laughs> Which we had to fix and support. Yeah, that one. So he's got rid of the Jetta, bought another GS, started doing some stuff to it. Um, he's bought some gear from me, so I think we're doing... I think we're doing head unit, fascia kit today, figure out the wiring. Uh, we've got to do front speakers, he's bought some component speakers, to kickers to go in the front. Um, and that's about it, I think. So, in all honesty, it should be a nice, chill day. Should be good. Um, so, I tried yesterday, I cut a piece off of the suede, and I put it onto the wood that we've got. I tried a little fabrication with it, you know, to kind of trim it. And to be honest, I'm not, it, it, it's not stretchable. So it's, it's really, really tight, like, um, like, a, like a proper skin. Um, and I know it should be, but it's not like car stuff when you, when you talk about the fabrication material. They call it like a four-way stretch. So that means you can pull it in four ways and it will move and not you know, it's not like trying to fold tinfoil. It's not the hardest material. There's no real give in it. But one thing I have noticed as well is even though we're using spray contact adhesive, um, as misty as I can get it out of an aerosol, it, it, the, the wetness of the glue is, is, you know, it's showing through on the material and that probably not gonna work. So we may need to go back to the drawing board now. Another thing I thought about was if I give them a rough coat of uh, like a, almost like an emulsion, once they're sanded down, I could, in all honesty, plastic coat them, like a spray plastic coat, because it will stick on every surface, it'll act shiny, it'll you know, follow the contours of the wood and it'll look nice, so that's an option. I'd have preferred suede, but um, trying to get hold of suede or material companies in this country for car audio is really difficult. Like you can buy box cloth everywhere, but nobody wants box cloth because it's too stiff and it's just like you don't you lose the definition in the part. So all that effort we went to making all those curves and shapes and edges on the wood, if you cover it in box cloth, it just gets lost. So I don't really want to do that. I want to have some kind of definition to the piece that we've made but we'll keep trying until I get the right result until we get until we get it sort of spotty dog then we'll look at it uh, but other than that I'm gonna get off to work get some breakfast and I will catch you in a bit we are at 2017 on subscribers so if you did press that button supporting me and the channel thank you very much um, Lots of questions in the uh, comments section, lots of lots of chat, which I love. Thank you very much. Keep it going. Um, we are still at a rough 60-30 split, which is, you know, the majority of my videos I get, people are watching the stereo unboxing and, and you know, me explaining the features of the stuff. And for that, it's a quick click on and a click off. But those videos, you know, are some of my biggest views. That's the problem because so many people watch them. So it, it skews the results. The money is still down. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed, but I've been trying to beep out my swearing uh, and other stuff. So if it was deemed offensive, as Chris mentioned, um, I've tried to get rid of it. So it's kind of cleaned it up a bit. But yeah, it's not it's not really doing anything. I don't. I I'd love, I'd love for a YouTube professional to go, hey, you look, this is what you've done wrong, just so I could change it. But yeah, I'm a bit, a bit miffed. We seem to be heading in the right direction. And then all of a sudden, no, you're not. <coughs> really bizarre. 
But what do you do? What do you do? Nothing. That's what. Keep going. Anyway, sun shines up, blue skies are out. Have a good Friday, everyone. I'll see you soon. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Right then, morning everyone. We've got Dave's car in today, the GS. Um, he's just picked this up. Uh, very cool, very Jap, very VIP. Got some fluffy pillows. Some, uh, some dash business going on. We've got to do head unit. So we've got a fascia panel that's gonna go in here, replace the stereo. We will be removing the CD changer from here as well, giving more space in the glovey. Um, we've got a Pioneer to go in here and we've got kicker front speakers so we've got 17 centimeters in the doors and we're going to do a tweeter as well so he's going to do front end head unit tidy up all of this crap remove the BS uh, and then he's um buying that loves me subs right then we've got Dave's Lexus finished you're running let me show your ass <laughs> so we've got the head unit in Stereo's there with a fascia kit. And we've got, obviously, speakers in the doors. Comes with these weird little pods. So we've removed those and he's wanted them flush mounted. So we're on the front. Tweeter in there, kickers. So it adds the nice little bit to it. And then eventually he's gonna purchase that from me. Because it fits his car and he loves his base. So we're gonna trim it out in, we're gonna change the idea, you know, I said about the, the cloth not, not suiting. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get rid of that, we're going to scrap that idea, we're going to go silver, red and black. So it looks nice for his uh, Lexus. But we'll give him some bass. See you in a bit everyone. everyone Alex has been buying cool shit again so check this out <laughs> uh, it's loads of signs from a dealership I know the S is upside down we need to turn that out the right way but for now look at this everything illuminates it's all chrome uh, super 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 cool but we've got this to hang on the wall now so it's a big shop sign or a dealer sign, whichever way you want to call it. Chrome lettering with LED outline and obviously the Lotus badge with the CACB in, in the lettering. Uh, it's all illuminated, obviously dead cool. It's very bright, um, but how sick is that going to look on the wall? Um, we're just getting ready to shut up for a Friday. Let's turn the lights back on. Um, it's been a busy day. Look, get Dave's car done, he's happy. Um, We've started um, planning for the box. He wants to buy it. We're gonna have the, the two uh, L7 truck boxes, truck, truck subs, LTs, that's it. They're gonna go in here. We're not using the red because we can't get it to gel right with the, the glue. So we're gonna go silver, we're gonna go red, and we're gonna go black. Black carpet, silver insert, and then red accents on the box. Um, but I'm gonna get it finished because he's gonna have it for the Lexus. Um, I've washed the boys. They've had a little clean today because they were pretty minging. So they've both had a wash looking nice and shiny out here. And it's turned into such a lovely evening as well. Bright blue skies, orangey clouds as the sun's going down. I just had the drone up doing some little shots filming. 
Uh, but that's it. Place is a tip. I don't care. I'm off this weekend. We've got work tomorrow, two head units in, this, in a um, husband and wife car. Uh, and then Sunday, I'm down in London for Monday as well. And we're back Tuesday, back for a snap on Tuesday. So Monday is going to be a vid missing. So if you miss me, apologies. I will be in Legoland having a whale of a time. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye. For the shorter ones, um, yeah, give me some, give me some input. It's eight o'clock, ten past. Oh, I love my watch at home. But yeah, I might, might see who's about tonight. Might do a little run up to uh, get some, get some pizza, some nachos maybe. Oh god, that's a big hole. Jay-Z stuff. attention you absolute prick 
fucking eyes in your head in the morning, you cock. Morning everyone. So we got our first one in. Uh, <laughs> I um been chilling all morning, playing with cables. I couldn't wait. Plugged them in, wired them up, using the Kicker U application. So if you are struggling for how to do stuff, I like to go onto here and just check, and it gives you all kinds of different wiring from Kicker U, so you can see what's what. Very cool. Um, but they sound awesome. And I've got my little display lights on. <laughs> so we got a Peugeot, oh gosh, what was this one, 207? Yeah, 207cc, so it's the Cabriolet version. It's got a very basic head unit in it, which is that one there. And because we've got the top display, these are all married in, steering controls and stuff like that. We're putting in a Kenwood KDC 130UG. So CD player going in here. We've got the lead for the car just there. Um, keep all this active. So I'm gonna crack on with this, play some tunes. The box is not finished yet but I'm like a child and I couldn't wait to hear it and I'll let you know now. It's got some balls, <laughs> very, very big balls. Right then, that wasn't hard to do. Nice and strim ball. Let me just get this thing out of here. Shut that up. So this one's got a Kenwood with steering controls in it. There we go. Yeah, there we go, steering controls working. Uh, it had an engine management light on before I touched it, so uh, I think the DPF is blocked on it. We go reverse, we've got parking sensor beat, that's a good sign. So this is uh, married through the head unit, so obviously if you change the stereo, the parking sensor stop working. So we need a special lead to keep it going. I don't know whether this is front and back or just rear sensors. Oh god, it's got a nasty drop in acceleration as well. That DPF is not happy. So what we'll do is we'll just back it in to next door's door. Not literally. Um, check the sensors out, make sure they're operating. Go nice and steady. There we go, that's better. Starting to panic then, the button was switched off. So we get the illumination on the dash, the LCD, that tells us that we're that close away from stuff. You see that there? And then obviously we get the beeping. That's good. Cool. That's this one done. Get these windows up. That one's up. Right, he's gonna bring the Zafira down at one o'clock. We're gonna go for lunch first. See you in a bit, everyone. <clears throat> Alright everyone, right so we've got next one in which is this Vauxhall Zafira, uh, this is the guy's car, obviously we've just done his missus, so we've got standard radio in here, we're doing fascia kit, double din, Pioneer 160, uh, so he's having the car play the Android Auto, um, so we're going to rip this one out, obviously do a, a DAB um, aerial, remove the kit, Get rid of that, do it all properly, have a fascia, steering controls. Right, I'll come back to you in a bit when this one's done. See you in a mo. Right, everyone, the Safira is done. Let me show you this. So there we go, there's our radio, steering controls are all working. And we've got USB in the glove box just here. Digital aerial there and microphone up here. Fascia, everything all in. Job done, this one's finished. I'm gonna keep talking because Rick Ross is playing and I don't want to get copyrighted. So I will see you in a bit. Tada, bye. Right everyone. Uh, that's it. Done for a Saturday. I'm finishing early. I can't be asked to work anymore. It's got cold, really chilly. Temperature's dropped. Sun's out though. Skies are blue, so it's not all bad. Sounds like all the bikers are out. Nutters. You can hear lots of um, clutch kicks and probably potentially wheelies going on. They're obviously enjoying the dry weather. Um, but yeah, that's it for Saturday. We're all done. I'm 
gonna nip to Rob's quickly, get the wheels balanced on this because we've got some motorway driving to do over the next two days and I don't want to shake, wobble, rattle or roll. Uh, so I'm gonna get that sorted and then I'm off for two days. So Sunday, Monday, I'm gone. Um, we will be back with a snap on Tuesday. So if I don't see or hear from you before then, have a good weekend. If you're out tonight, be safe. Have fun. Um, other than that, thanks for supporting as always. I'll see you soon. All the best. <laughs>